Hi friends, welcome to Perceptional Healing Level 1. This is Dr. Karthik Gupta. We are all, suppose we are dealing with people, we are dealing in a profession, we are in a family means the only thing is because of emotions. If, if we remove the emotions on from this earth, any type of emotions, it might be negative, it might be positive. If you remove emotions of any type from this earth, then it's just, then just this uh, these uh, whole human beings, animals, plants, trees, everything work like a machines, devices. Just like uh, I'm using a mobile or laptop. And these are all just devices. They doesn't have emotions. And why I'm, uh, I'm referring to the emotions is the only emotions uh, we differ from non-living things. Non-living things doesn't have any emotions. Even they doesn't have life. Now, if we want to say life, the representative of life is emotions. Some say life means breathe, life means they have the life animated creatures. Yes, the animation, suppose every animal is moving, plants are moving because of some energy in them. Energy in motion is called emotion. Okay. If your emotions come to the low frequency, high conscious emotions, then the miracles start and whole world supports you. If you go to the negative emotions, whole world, even your family member doesn't support you. If you go to the negative emotions, even your family members doesn't support you. If you go to low frequency, not only your family members, outside your street, outside your city also, the people respects you, accepts you and loves your ideas. That's because of what emotion you are carrying at this given moment. If your emotion is fear, if your emotion is stress, stress means we can we need to be very specific. Fear or guilt or grief or uh, uh, if you have a uh, hopelessness, your feeling of fear, uh, fear of death or fear of failure. If you go to the hospital, most of the patients have either fear of disease or fear of failure or fear of death. If you remove their fears, they will they will come out of the hospital very fast. The fear of disease makes us admit into hospitals very fast. The fear of COVID affected many people come to the hospital more. Yes or no? You know, even the tribal people, most of the tribal people in India, they doesn't get more uh, uh, COVID. The more, more, more tribal doesn't admit it in hospitals. You know why? Uh, they doesn't have fear. They doesn't have fear and one reason is that and second reason is their mind is busy with their own activities of positivity okay don't give time for negative emotions if you if you fill your day with positive emotions then where is the time for negative emotions where you're getting from negative emotions suppose you want you let, let's think that time is equal to money you are want to construct a new house Meanwhile, you take that money to uh, expense something else. You need to uh, buy which is non-priority things for your family. Then you ca you can't uh, construct a house because you are you, you spend those uh, that amount. So the construction of, of home will be delayed more and more. Same way, if you invest that time for positive emotions, and if you take some time for negative emotions, then there will be no time for positive emotions. And your, your body, your mind, the consciousness, the divinity inside the body and our own subconscious mind tells you, you are doing wrong. You need to invest your time for positive emotions. You need to invest that. The only investment you can give is for positive emotions is your time. If you are not giving means by default, you are giving for negative emotions. And how the, how the life you make us warnings is through problems. Life sends us problems, even in nightmares, even money problems, financial problems, relationship problems. It might be uh, health problems. Our body, our life, universe send us signals that you are in the wrong path. You are in the wrong way. You are using the wrong method. Just like a student failing in exams again and again, what it means? A student is failing his exams again and again means he is doing wrong way. Yes or no? Student in the wrong path, 
leads to the fails failure in the exams but in the real life the universe and our subconscious mind guide us if we are going to a problem that means that we are in the wrong path we are using our mind for wrong things wrong things means negative things some people love to watch uh, movies 3 4 movies a day if a person watch 3 4 movies per day just within a month what will be their quality of life you know even if ss rajmouli very famous director who constructed a multi million movies he doesn't see movies all day because he is a profession his profession is making movies okay but a person continues watching movies or watching tv series and anything else what will be their mind is filled with their mind is filled with which is not what they need what what uh, they want what their purpose is they deviate from it so that what happens their life their subconscious mind the universe send them problems just like exams to the students if they correct themselves they will win it win over the problems if they do if they doesn't correct themselves the problem the severity of problems increases then it goes to next level if still they are not adjusting their habitual habits of mind then again the severity might increases that's how the problems gives the warnings even a person in the dead bed have still have hope to recover from that still have the hope from recover there are many people who recover from bed, dead beds who are who think that they are died they recovered and uh, they lived of, after that situation more than 10 years 20 years also because even at the moment of that but even at the 90 years of age also still there is much more life to do if they believe so and if they accept the what body is saying to them what the universe is saying to them okay for any more queries please message in our group or contact me personally thank you